guys, so I just got a package from ASOS and I figured that it would be fun to open it with you on camera. So I ordered a few things that I needed, a few things that I didn't, you know how that goes. I don't really need anything, but there's some cute spring things in there and uh, yeah, I'm just going to give you some of my first impressions and uh, we're gonna open this box together. I thought that'd be fun, so let's go. Okay, so here we have the box, and ta-da, here's the stuff I ordered. In my opinion, ASOS has the most fashion-forward clothes. They have just amazing pieces, and often they have really excellent sales. So I ordered quite a bit of stuff. Sometimes I'll just order a bunch of stuff and then just keep what fits and works for me and send the rest back. ASOS is awesome if you haven't shopped there. I totally recommend it. So the first thing I got are these tortoiseshell sunglasses. I just think they're so cool and retro. Apparently they're handmade sunglasses. I don't know what that entails really, but they're plastic and I am just obsessed with tortoiseshell anything. And specifically for summer, I like this pale kind of tortoiseshell. These came with this little case as well, which is nice. These just kind of make me think of like Mew Mew glasses or something. The only thing I'm worried about is the width of them. They look like they might be a little bit narrow for my face, but I don't know. That's why I don't want to try them on for you. Okay, moving on. <laughs> okay, so the next thing that I got, I just pulled out of the package and it looks completely different than what I was looking at online. It is this kind of oversized gray salt and pepper sweater. I like it, but I'm not sure. The fabric feels a little bit cheap and it's, it's really quite oversized width-wise, but not length-wise. And uh, I have a particularly long torso, a really long torso actually, so I'm not sure this is gonna work. I will potentially be sending this back because it's just not, it's not really the quality I'm after. That sometimes happens and that's totally fine. I still really like ASOS, so we'll see. I love this like marled gray or salt and pepper. I think it's just so versatile. Next, I got this bag, which I have to say, okay, this is why I got this bag. I carry a large camera everywhere I go pretty much and this is basically the only type of bag that really comfortably fits my huge camera. Uh, these like mini duffel bag kind of things. I really like them but here's the thing about this. This is more purple than it showed on the website and I don't know, it's definitely like a little cheaper feeling so I have a feeling this is going back. Uh, so far not much success really, huh? I wanted to try this for so long. I think it's, I still think it's pretty, but for the price, I don't think this, I don't think so. The next thing I got is just really basic. It's, I've just wanted one of these for a really long time. Like one of these uh, baseball shirts. I think they look really cute, especially with like a big necklace or something. I don't know. They, they just work with a lot of things. It just kind of has this dipped, bottom which I think is a nice like more feminine detail than a basic baseball t-shirt it's really soft I actually ordered this in a 10 because I usually wear an 8 but again I have this insanely long torso which there is often more length if I order up a size maybe you can uh, relate maybe you can relate there's that word I think I'll keep this I think it's cute and I like oversized tops. That's always my thing. I like kind of like flowier tops because I find them really comfortable and I can move my arms in whatever way I want. And then like tight bottoms. I like really tight skirts and like tight pants. So I don't know, that's just kind of my thing. Like I wouldn't wear too baggy things. I like to kind of balance it out at least at least that's what I think it does next I have this dress and this is in an eight and it is also really super large I don't know if it's supposed to be a shift dress maybe but okay you're gonna think I'm crazy with this neckline yeah do you think I'm crazy 
Okay, this has like a crystal print and stuff too, but this neckline I think is really pretty. The plan for this would be to put something pretty underneath it. Like I personally wouldn't go out wearing it just like, oh hey girl, there's everything you've ever wanted to know about me. Uh, this print is amazing actually, but I just, I'm really surprised that this is an eight. Is this for real? Yeah, a US eight. Darn it, this has not been successful. I think this will be going back as well. You see, the thing is, again, I really like oversized clothes, but hey, like we're taking this neckline and it's going to fly open. Do you know what I mean? You know what I mean. Also, I forgot to mention from the brand AQAQ, never heard of it. Next, I was looking through, I believe it was like revolveclothing.com, which is one of my other favorite online shopping places. And I saw this top from the brand Tibby that was a halter and it was pink and it was just nicely structured and I liked that the halter was just a string to here almost. I found something on ASOS for way cheaper than Tibby's clothes that looked almost identical to it. The only thing that's different is this kind of string bit here was black. It's got also this really pretty detail that's like a keyhole back and it's kind of a racer back, but it folds over like that. It's got like a drop back and a, a shorter front, which is always nice if you are, you know, a human. I just hate it when the tushy comes out when I bend over. I hate that, it's so annoying. So basically, these drop backs are God's gift to women, in my opinion. I like them. They're great. Business in the front, party in the back. Yeah, that's cute. That's probably a keeper. Pink is kind of an amazing color, even though I'm not much of a pink wearer. And then the thing that I am most excited about is this little number. If you don't already know this about me, you probably don't. I, I think I talk about it a lot though. I am completely and utterly obsessed with Led Zeppelin. There's a picture of somebody wearing this to a concert in England somewhere, to a Led Zeppelin concert, and it has this written on the back. I have always wanted that t-shirt, but I wanted it on the front. So one teaspoon, which is where the shirt is from, came out with a pale blue shirt years ago, in probably 2010, that said, Led Bloody Zeppelin, that's who and I didn't buy it, and I regretted it forever. It was just so me, like, ah, oh, Led Zeppelin, stop. Uh, I'm getting caught up in the Led Zeppelin. So this is basically what I'm most excited about. I'm not entirely thrilled with the bird here. I'm not like with the whole put a bird on it thing. I'm not about that. So I don't know, I thought this was the, like, Icarus from the Led Zeppelin CDs. You probably have no idea what I'm talking about. Anyway, there's a man with wings. It's a Led Zeppelin thing. That's what I thought this was, but no, it's like a sparrow. So, darn, I don't know about that. Again, this is from the brand One Teaspoon and I got this in a large because I didn't want it super tight or anything. I wanted it so I could wear like a bandeau under it or something and it would look cute. You know what I'm talking about. Anyway, so that is my ASOS haul, and really that wasn't very successful, was it? Uh, hmm, uh, that's too bad. But anyway, if you were looking into buying stuff from ASOS, I think even though this wasn't entirely successful for me, maybe it will make your shopping experience a little more successful because you will know a little bit more about the sizing and the materials of some of the stuff on their website. So, I really appreciate you guys watching. I will have a correlating blog post on my website about this. And uh, if you would like to subscribe, no pressure, obviously, you can do that. I make a video every week. Anyway, if you want my contact info, it's down below. I will try to link all of these uh, pieces that are left on ASOS. Maybe you saw something you like. Maybe you saw something you wanted to take note on. It'll be down below. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Tune in next week. Bye. Next, I went to Ulta and picked up some things. Too many things. I, I don't know. I actually needed a couple things that I've been putting off buying. 
Uh, so, I don't know, it was kind of practical. Not practical, really, because we're talking about illuminators and stuff, but whatever. Oh, 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 o